Hey guys, what's up? Only Daz here, and in this video, I'm going to go over a build I'm absolutely loving at the moment, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So if you haven't played the game yet, you might not know this, but if you have played the game, you probably already know that Leatherface is one of the most underutilized and underappreciated characters. As far as most people just avoid picking him in the pre-game lobby, most people don't want to be him, most people actively avoid being him. There's many factors that go into this, and I won't dive too much into those in this video, but most of the time it's because people don't like being bullied, they don't like feeling the pressure of being the person in the basement they don't like feeling the pressure of being big old leather face that's supposed to do all this damage and cause all this chaos and cause all this you know craziness going on but then they feel bad if they don't do it right they feel bad if they get stunned by a leland and you know let the team down if they escape after a stun or something they feel bad if they get backstabbed in the basement and then they get shoulder barged by leland and then maybe they get door stunned and stuff like that like it really adds up on people and that kind of responsibility and that kind of stress and pressure just builds up and a lot of people don't like playing him for that reason because it just feels like there's a lot of pressure on your shoulders when you play leatherface so a lot of people avoid picking him games often don't start because people will be in a deadlock like three family members being a deadlock and don't pick him and stuff like that so i've been playing Leatherface a lot and to be honest with you I've kind of become a little bit of a Leatherface mate after playing him for so long when no one else would so for me I've messed with a couple of different builds I've done the big damage build I then found out damage perks don't actually stack so violent big swings and hysterical strength all that stuff they don't actually stack the damage doesn't actually build on top of each other so whoop, that went out the window and I was like okay well I only need one damage perk then that's cool so I tried that build we had the well build you've got the damage over time build and they work pretty pretty nicely they do a good amount of damage, they do a good amount of pressure. But what I realized was on maps like Slaughterhouse and maps like Gas Station, I felt like a little bit slow. And I felt like those damage over times and those hits, I couldn't always get because people would get to a crack in the wall. They would get to a well before I could get there. They would finish their close encounter with another family member before I can get there and take advantage of that execution. I needed Scout. I needed Scout. And Scout isn't a random perk for Leatherface. Scout is a perk that is permanently on the tree. You have to go a certain route to get it. And you have to miss out on a certain other really good perks to get it, unfortunately. So I took, I bit the bullet. I took the dive. I took the plunge. I went for the Scout section. I got Violent as my backup damage perk. And your third perk is kind of malleable, to be honest. But I'll go into the build that I've currently got at the moment and explain to you why I have the build, why it works so well, and show you footage of Scout working and just the amount of times I get value from this build. And this perk is phenomenal. And there might be something in it of me just getting more experience with Leatherface and just getting better and better because I'm using him so much. But honestly, the amount of times where I'm like, I wouldn't have caught this guy if it wasn't for Scout. And that leads to not a kill. And that leads to insane pressure and a survivor still being alive, a victim still being alive when it just stops happening if you put Scout on. So let's dive into the build. Let's dive into why I'm running the build. I'll explain a little bit about what each perk does and why I'm using it at the moment. And then we'll go over some game footage that I captured that show the true power and the true value of this build. Before we dive dive in though guys please remember to like the video please remember to subscribe to the channel as well it really helps me out tell your friends to subscribe to the channel like comment all that good stuff let me know what you think of the video let me know what you think of the build and let's dive in so the first perk we're running in this build is called scout the scout at level three now i'm aware it's a ball lake to level scout is one of the hardest perks to grind through leveling on this game but once you've got it level three on each of the family you're gonna really really be thankful for it so the leveling process is really difficult because level one is a 30 percent reduction in damage which sucks but level three is only a 10 percent reduction in damage but a 15 percent movement speed increase and honestly this is the crux of the build and this is something that people just do not expect and are not ready for against Leatherface like they just they just seem to get caught out so much by that speed the speed is incredible especially when coupled with the chainsaw sprint as well you're gonna see the highlights of that kind of speed and how it helps me out from game to game so the next perk we're gonna look at is violent now you guys have probably heard about this perk if people have talked to you about Leatherface you've probably heard about the perk if you've played Leatherface and gone down a skill tree or two you've probably been told to use it by many people most of the time you've probably been told to use this perk in combination with big swings or hysterical strength that kind of stuff so i feel like most people who play the game and or play leatherface or have seen leatherface probably know what violent is we're going to quickly go over why violent is so crucial to this build so scout is going to reduce your damage by 10 percent. that does suck i get it it sucks right but violent is going to increase your damage by 20 percent while carrying a full blood vial so if you can make sure you hold on to a full blood vial and i want to get into sort of how i try and make sure that happens a bit earlier than usual in the games when we start reviewing game footage but if you get a good full blood vial and you keep a hold of it you've then got a just overall base damage increase of 10 percent now that's not 20 percent sure but it's base damage increase overall of 10 percent 
plus 15 percent extra movement speed which is absolutely amazing so get violent on the build i highly recommend scout and violent and honestly the third perk that we're going to go over that i use i do get value from but i do think it's a bit malleable and you could probably try a couple of different combinations and see what works for you essentially so the third perk we're using on this build is blood runner Again, the third perk slot, I could argue and see an argument of it being kind of malleable. You could probably mix and match a couple of different perks in here, along with Violent and Scout. Blood Runner is the one I'm using at the moment, and I get insane value from. And again, we'll review why I get that value and where I get that value. So Blood Runner is stamina consumption is reduced by 15% when carrying a blood vial that is more than 50% full. So stamina consumption overall is decreased by 15%. So if I'm generally sprinting round, not using the chainsaw sprint, I can go in and insane insane distance like a really long distance with Leatherface we are going to be being a selfish Leatherface we are going to keep the blood to ourselves feeding grandpa is a bit detrimental on a massive time sink for Leatherface so it's most of the time not worth it there are arguments where you could not use violent and use a different damage perk stuff like that you could probably use those ones and feed grandpa if you wish but for me I keep the full blood vial I keep my overall base damage increase of 10% on top of scout and I use the blood runner perk the reason for that is again i get a massive amount of distance while regularly sprinting i can get around the map to and from objectives really quick with scout and blood runner in play and i'm always always ready to go and fire up that chainsaw sprint whenever i need to so yeah blood runner very very effective perk in combination with this build and i'm going to show you how i use it in game firstly we're just going to quickly look at the stats here so you get 27 skill points overall we're going to make sure we've got 50 savagery of course plus 10 skill points very very easy to do blood harvesting just at 15 because that's what we had left over endurance is key here plus 15 on endurance bring in leatherface's endurance up to 50 and people will say oh you don't need endurance on leatherface i don't put endurance on leatherface because you can chainsaw sprint right you can chainsaw sprint it's infinite that's all well and good that's all well and good but the endurance is so crucial to this build the amount of distance i can cover on a full stamina bar because of blood runner and endurance is amazing and why am i not chainsaw sprinting you ask i've mentioned it already but if you're not chainsaw sprinting, if you're not revving your chainsaw, your terror radius, your proximity warning is way lower. And all of a sudden your speed is 15% faster. The amount of times I see survivors or, or victims, should I say, getting into position, crouching or uncrouching in a hiding spot, not ready in their hiding spot, like, you know, trying to move to an objective. You don't really see that as Leatherface. At a higher level, you won't really catch victims doing that as Leatherface if you're revving your chainsaw. Because the proximity one is so big, they're, they're just going to hide. They're just going to hide, stay put, stay still until you've left the area, right? They get such a big warning and such a big head start and heads up that you're on the way when you're chainsaw sprinting. So most of the time, you just end up sprinting around the map and not seeing anybody, which is terrible. Because once you've left the area with that big proximity range and your stamina's at zero, if they then jump on a gate behind you and you think, oh, I'll go back actually just in case that's happened, you've got no stamina. And you're sort of walking slowly as you've got to chainsaw sprint again. So you've got to give them that heads up. Endurance with Blood Runner and a full blood vial and scout allows you to get around the map so fast, so quick, and also get to jump on survivors that are unlocking a door or unlocking a gate or in the middle of doing an objective, and they won't typically be ready for it most of the time. Whereas with a chainsaw sprint, they can hear you coming a mile off, big proximity warning. It's just not worth doing, I think. And honestly, I actually got sick of the, uh, the, the, the rev sound going off in my ear while I was chainsaw sprinting. I got sick of it. It really started to annoy me, so I wanted to figure out something else, and this just works beautifully well. So now that we've got the build figured out now that you've seen the build and sort of a little bit about why i run specific perks and why i'm using them and what value i'm aiming to get i'm going to show you a couple of games from my stream literally this was just one stream i played leatherface all stream and i intended to basically kind of just show off a little bit of the uh you know the scout value that we were getting and exactly why i think it's so valuable and honestly i'm a pretty big fanboy right now of scout on leatherface and pretty big fanboy of this build so among like talking to chat and stuff like that you'll hear me just harping on this build and how effective it is and the situations that pop up where i think it's been really effective i go over in the game so there's not really much point in me playing the video and talking over it with you it's best for you guys to just watch the games see what you think of the build see if you think you know it's something that you'd enjoy and let me know what you think about it Check these games out, and I'll check in with you guys after them. Bum, 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 bum. Good old family house. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, because look at that. Like, the games put your well perk first, so like... <laughs> you have to get like level 2 to get the locks one. 
I've seen people literally just remove all perks and just have Dinner Bell on, and that's it. Just so you get Dinner Bell straight away at level 1 Grandpa, because that's like the strongest one. And then maybe the Locks one. I think if you double stack as well, you get the first. Yeah, 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 you're guaranteed. I've got a lot of shit to destroy here, man. I've got a lot of shit to destroy in this basement. Get rid of all this shit, I think. Could grab blood bags and stuff, but I think I'm just gonna commit to chases here. Get rid of loads of crawl spaces and stuff. Oh. Yeah, they've already got like two doors open by the looks of it. Yeah. Already upstairs. Someone's up and about. <laughs> I don't have anyone at these spots yet. Hmm. I did not get notified that Grandpa was awake. Yeah, it happens sometimes. It's glitches. Oh, hey, I've had guys, that before. Can you do the um, cross chase right next to the fuse box? Is that. Uh, oh, yeah, can you? Alright. Destroyed the door and the crawl space on the fuse box so they can't oh, fuck going around. Downstairs again. Oh, he was just the... door, she's going for it. <laughs> yeah. The doors are locked, but they were trying for it. <laughs> Leland, I think it was Anna. They were trying to go from the main. Door. Oh yeah, Anna's heading upstairs. Oh, uh, Julie. Ah, uh, I was hoping she'd panic and get hit a couple of times. Is it really freezing where you are? It's all butes. My hands just start feeling the cold more than any other body part. My hands just get so fucking cold. It's insane. Leland almost got the door. <laughs> We got Anna upstairs, hit her down, but I think she's gonna get away. Going around towards the back stairs. Fuck! <laughs> Trying for the crack upstairs. I'm gonna come back down. Got Anna running around upstairs. You might have to go up there and chase her so. Who's outside? Oh, someone's out front. That's Connie out front, right? Yeah, she's out the side of the house, it just showed, on the, uh, cook mark. I'll chase her, I'll chase her oh, out. Shit. Yeah, he just marked and she was, like, going to the gen. She's kicking the gen right now, but I interrupted it, she's left it. Oh, Uh, hit Connie down the well. Back down the well. I don't know how she got out. She got incapacitated down there at least. Okay. And we put a trap on the side front. Okay. He should run into me to be fair. You can go back inside if you want so. Because I'll just chase him down the well. Yeah, he's gone well. Get a trap outside that door. We almost had the well. Well, they have well perk. Almost the uh, doors. I'm gonna stay out front for a moment. All right, I was just checking One the uh, the checking the fuse box. Seems okay for now. Did you trap the fuse box? Yeah. Okay. Fuse box is still trapped. That so all looks good. If you want to try for a window trap. Trap the main window, because a lot of the time they try to jump out of it. Yep, I have a trap. Oh, nice. I'm actually gonna move there is a mark there. Interesting. Hands and feet. Yeah, my feet feel it really bad. My fucking hands get devastated by yeah. it. 
She got it. She's gonna go well again. I'm gonna incapacitate her though, I think. Oh, that was a nice little swerve, you know. Connie went well again, but yeah, she got the back door open. Leland tried to go ladder, he jumped back down. I might actually run to the basement real quick, actually. Catch him by surprise. He's coming up. Back door's unlocked, I'm gonna move back out there. He's coming up the ladder, is he? Leland is heading outside, so I can... Oh, Jen was off, well. Wow. How the fuck are they getting out there then? It must have been front left, right? Leland is swelling? Still trapped. I think there was someone still out. Ah, oh, fair. Lila went down the well, yeah? Nah, she's not making it, man. I should be able to catch her up as well. Keep chasing her, though. Please Good night, Nat. Life. Good night. Sleep well. Have sweet dreams. Please All that like good you. stuff. And it's dead. Go back. I think go back for the gem cells. Yeah. I think she's just gonna teabag anyway. Now she left. Let's go for the gem. You should be able to. You'll be able to hit the gem before they get to the grid. So just sprint for the gem. You've got your scout damage reduction, haven't you? So it's not gonna do too well. He's gonna shoulder block me, so I'm gonna try and bait his shoulder block while you go for gem. Ah, fucking bastard. I thought I timed it. <laughs> oh, beautiful. He would have made it over the grid as well. Oh, Just yeah. got him down, but and then it came on after I got him down. Nice, they got the fuse box. Oh, makes sense. Yeah. yeah, makes sense. You might be able to set them by the way down to the basement now. And so, oh, back stairs. Yeah, I think it's worth going fuse box at this point. Try and turn it off instead. Ah, no, it's right there, isn't it? The exit. I think she makes it. It's that scout on hitch, man. 30% lower damage is fucking disgusting. Like, it's the hardest thing to level. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. That was good. It literally the stopped, it stopped Anna and Leland at the last second on the uh, gen exit. That was great. Hello? Oh my god. That scared the fuck out of me. What, what did? You killing me. Oh, I thought it was quite, I thought it was quite <laughs> preempted. I, I thought I was like golden. I kicked the generator and then I get like massacred. Leatherface just shows up pissed off. That's amazing. GG. Yeah, good game. Slaughterhouse time, baby. I sure hope they don't get the pressure valve. Oh, yeah. Classic Windows 7 equalizers. Oh, like in Windows Media Player? Do you mean those ones? Those are pretty fucking banging. Yeah, those are pretty fucking top quality, man. You used to sit there and watch them. You used to put music on. And sit there and watch it to see how that different songs affected it. You're like, this is fascinating. This is crazy. Look how many bass in this song. It was a great time. I think this guy is going to die if he sort of hangs around this area too long here. This is a hard area to sort of figure out. Oh, there he goes. Okay, he didn't panic too much. Usually people panic quite a lot. And he didn't panic too much there. He did a good job. This guy's panicking though. What was that, Tom, with a prime sub? Thank you, Tom. Ah, oh, what a tease. What a fucking tease. You see that? That was a fucking tease, that was. That was disgusting. Ah, uh, I'm fucking upset now. He generally just fucking tickle, like, tease me then. Tease me with fucking two different survivors. Leland's dead at least now. No, he's not, because he just gets up with a fucking shoulder barge, doesn't he? Uh, end up trolling bots for solid six hours with Glorious. Nice. Hope you had a good time. Sounds like you had a bloody good time. Leland's dead. 
<laughs> on a field there in the basement. I got shoulder block boy dead. Nothing beats the fun we make ourselves. Exactly, dude. <laughs> Thanks for the prime sub, man. I appreciate it. It's generally one of those things that's like fucking... The, uh, the, the, the addiction to this game at the moment is pretty fucking crazy. Like, as far as, like... You know, being at work and thinking about loading it up, like it's... I've not had a game like it for a while where I've just wanted to get home and play, you know? It's crazy. It's a fucking killing field down here. This is why I always get surprised that people don't want to play Leatherface. <laughs> He's such a fucking beast, it's insane. Yeah, I guess people just go for the bully thing. Yeah, that's. I guess it's similar to Dead by Daylight in that way. Like, yeah, people do get genuinely annoyed by getting just stunned or backstabbed or whatever. But it's like mechanically, there's nothing you can do about it. So you just shrug it off and then wait till it's your turn. Yeah, yeah I just know I'm a terrible other face. <laughs> that was like, same. I remember that time, just struggling with the fucking charge hits. I still struggle with them, to be fair though. Oh yeah, it's Cell, you goddamn right. I think these guys were quite low low as well. Yeah, they were. Yeah. There's a fucking frenzy down there. They just kept like running into each other by an accident and like trying to split off different directions and panicking, it was funny. Oh but no. They are upstairs though, someone's upstairs. I was saying, I wonder if on Family Home as Hitchhiker, even if you've got a cook, I wonder if it's worth just putting a trap in the uh, in front of that front left door, like from the get-go, just so you'd never have to worry about it, or like for a while. Because they never really pick the main one, do they? So if you trap the window, front left door, and then the fuse box, like it's fucking disgusting, that is. Because <laughs> they never just get out like that front left one. I think that's, that's quite a cool true, idea. Man. You'd have to panic move it. Yeah, you'd have to panic move it then. Like, you just keep it there from the get-go. And if they do manage to pick two locks, then they just run straight into your trap, and then there's no, like, pressure caused by someone getting out. Yeah, definitely worth trying. Because window already does damage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about the window trap, actually. Oh, wait, no, yeah, so you do left door, window, and fuse box. This game has been very quiet, to be fair. I wonder what they're up to. It must be getting a, a valve or something. They haven't gotten any of my traps. I just think they are really scared low levels, aren't they? Bless them. It looks like both are. It is very so. quiet. It is very quiet. Uh, Tom, not very active at all, man. Yeah, These guys are really scared. Oh, they had like the door open that you put gas on. Oh yeah, I guess there's two in them. That's mad. They're just gonna die to sissy in the basement in a minute. I suppose. <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it. I just, oh, there she is. Hunting, hunting some Bambies down there. Hunting some Bambies. Yeah, they're really low level, these guys are, Tom, on the other team. Like, they're a lot lower. So I think they're just having a real struggle trying to figure out like how to get out of the basement and what to do and how to play this game, really. I'm not really. sure what plan is here, because it keeps, like... I don't think there is a plan. No. Uh, fuse box trap is broken. Where's that? Oh, okay, I got it. Excuse me, Connie. That's not for your fingers. Yeah, with those obstacles, Panda Cat, you just break them so victims can't fucking crawl through it. It's great. Like, it just shuts it down entirely, that shortcut. Yeah, it's amazing what I can do. A quick check of the focus and then a quick bit of communication. Connie dead and no danger. It's crazy. I'm just really enjoying Scout on Bubble right now. And the stamina. 
and just being able yeah, to sprint around to without too much of a big old terror radius and get sneaking up on people. But then when I need to chainsaw charge, just chainsaw charging. And she's trying to get a valve off. She's upstairs running through the cat while she's actually dead. Nice. Leatherface City, my dudes. Yeah. Add another one to that tally that I was looking at earlier. <laughs> There's a tally in the settings for how many times you've like solo killed all four survivors. <laughs> it's so good. Just building it up. Oh, hey, a different map. I cannot believe it. Lovely jubbly. That's pointless. I'm over being under I'm in. Oh, good old cook. Grab some blood from down here while well, I'm not making noise. I don't think we've had a grandpa cutscene yet, but... Oh, never mind. Why is it always... Why is it always at the same time? Let's see if we can catch someone off guard here. No, we're not going to do that. Scare her off. Yeah, so she runs around the tunnel. Look, this is bad for her. She didn't need to do this, she could have kept on the cracks, but that's lesser experience, I think. Yeah. She could have kept on the cracks there, you know. Is out. Anna's fucking dead here, man. Crazy. Is evolving, I think. Is there any yeah, she's the... dead, dude. I see. <coughs> no way. Yeah, Where'd she go? That way? Who saw that coming? Fair play to her. Fucking dead, dude. I'm fucking in a fucking hella chase with Anna right now. She's tanking all of this. Yeah. Ooh, I could have fucking had her there, you know? Tasty. Alright, we'll get her now. Taking away a lot of her fucking tanking shit anyway. See, if we'd have had Violent Full, would have been good. So for a yeah, while, I was using um, the Blood Bucket perk, where you get 40% more blood from buckets, and that getting Violent ASAP in the basement was so fucking crucial, man, especially in situations like that. So that's a really good one, but annoyingly, you can't get it on the scout side, so uh, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, on the pressure? Okay, I need to come upstairs. Sorry, guys, I've taken a while down here. I'm coming upstairs now. Oh, that's it. Oh, got Connie dead. Just as you said that, I was going to come upstairs and she fell right next to me. Yeah, the speed's great, man. Just getting to and from places when you need to is really, really good. Alright, I'm coming upstairs now to help out. Oh, Connie dead. Helena's going outside the house. If you stay in the house, I'll, I'll try and push him. Uh, Anna is, uh, always going back to the stupid thing here. <laughs> Where's Leland gone? Is he back in the house? Yeah, he's back yeah. In the house. I'm okay. Oh, I see him. Like, nice. He goes well, surely. Yeah, they're trying to really pressure the... I know, yeah, she's out. Oh, god damn it. I think you ran past Leland, yeah? Okay. He just did the trap. And three, so Chasing Leland. Wow, what a fucking idiot. He just grabbed an item while I was chasing him, but he wasn't ready for scout. <laughs> Scout does that as well. When survivors think they're just gonna grab an item while being chased, dude. 
just, just not ready for that speed on Bubba. Like, they're not ready for you to be there for a light attack because it just doesn't happen. Like, they're just not... They're like, well, Bubba's not going to catch me up in light attack, surely, right? Like, how could he? Here, we should sneak up on, on whoever's looting this. Oh, let me get a jump on him. Sonny's going to die here. No, he isn't. Fuck you now. Thought we might catch him being stupid. I didn't know. Okay. Lucky. He got away there. I'm coming back upstairs. I tried to chase Sonny when he welled, but not worth it. Yeah, and it was at the gas station door. Ah, that's a shame. He's not able to get it, though. Ooh. Yeah, she's rolling again. I'm going back to the pressure. So I had Sunny in the basement last running around. So if you had her at the... That's it. That's the last two, right? So that's not too bad. Yeah, I think they're both in the basement. And she just relocked the uh, gate. So I'm going oh, to nice. Nice. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think they're going to, what, come up middle shack? They have to. Hi, dear Beckins. Nice to see you, dude. How's your night going tonight, man? Kind of become on my way to be a Leatherface main in this game by the looks of it, man. I wish you could keep your camera. I wish you could just turn your camera while you're destroying stuff, because it's really silly that it like locks you to a certain angle. So where's the other door then? They must. Have, I wonder where they're coming up. They usually frequent like a, a reoccurring place. Middle Shack's probably one of them, but maybe Workshop? Yeah, I'm not sure. Because the, the house stairs aren't open. So that's good news, because they can't just... Well, not yet, anyway. They might have opened them recently, but they weren't open a minute ago. So they're coming up probably the ladder at the back, or the thicket ladder, maybe? Yes, yeah, totally quiet over here, so... Generator thing. I'm not trying to use my chainsaw sprint here. <laughs> Interesting. Might regular sprint to the ladder here, see if we catch someone coming up. Nothing. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like they've slowed down the pace then. Yeah. It's just for me, having the stamina and scout dude to like get around this map is great, you know? Instead of having to try like chainsaw sprint the whole time. And also, I got sick of it being in my ear. And it was in your trap. Ooh, that was a, should have been a big hit. She's gone for the house crack. Should have been a fucking massive hit. Ooh, she went for Valve, but she knows she's one hit and dead, so she fucking abandoned it. She's gone for the side crack again. Ooh, what is she trying? Where's she gone then? I wonder I if she went ears, well. So. Yeah. I'm going to reset my trap. She tried to go for Valve, but I, because I hit her with a big one, I, oh, I think. Oh, she's in the house still. I heard her. In the front left room or something? Oh, yeah. She's near yeah. the battery gate. Or gym gates. <laughs> Following her inside. Yeah, she's gone in the crack. <laughs> going for the middle squeeze. Oh, I just saw li over there where you're going, Sal. In front of you, those boxes. Someone just crouched behind them. Those red boxes. Someone's behind there. Yeah, he just crouched. He's hiding there. I just saw his fucking head like drop down as, as she went. Yeah, he just ran. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. Poor Sunny. He's like, oh, I think there's EB. His head goes down. <laughs> What do we think? Sonny went down the ladder, or...? Sonny went well. Mm. Ah, okay. Yeah. 
God, they are taking health off. Trying to think where Anna must be coming up. She must be doing the house stairs by now. They must be open. Because she's going to want that valve. Makes them mean it's fine. Oh, wow. They've still not unlocked house stairs, dude. So they can't just... They, they should do that. Because they could just whip up the stairs and do the valve. Literally. Bad decision. Oh, right gen gate, Anna. She's picked it. She's gone in. No, she welds. She welds. Yeah, that's funny. They take more damage too, though, when they're building now, so. Yeah. Where was that? Uh, right gen gate. Is right gen gate open? Yeah. There's one on her. Okay, I'm gonna go trap the gas station. She door. must be coming middle shack then. I might just run into the basement from middle shack and try and scare him. Try and surprise him a little bit. Yeah, I could do that. I might chase him down there. Ooh, trap up right, left battery gate. Yep, head over. <laughs> He's picking it. I'll leave you to him. I just don't know where Anna's coming up. Wow, is that well again? That's crazy. They're just tanking that damage. And that's with the Wilberg. Well, since the gate's done, I'm gonna go and set up a trap at the battery itself. I've got Sonny dead in the basement. Nice. Enough of that shit! Enough of that shit, mate. No more of that. I would move the uh, left padlock on Jen over to the actual gas station door. Is it not on gas station door? No. <laughs> That's some brave shit right there. Some brave shit. I like it. It's on the left path, or left gen gate at the moment. I'd be very surprised if Anna manages to get out here, but. Is that left battery gate just wide open now? Yeah. Yeah, but there's a trap on the um, battery itself now. Oh, nice. Okay. I was going to say, what I did notice is I think you can actually put traps in, like, directly in the middle of gate routes, and they, like, can't run around them, like, without disarming them. They just get, like, kind of, like, sucked into it. Are you, you put it, like, horizontal. She's at gas station door. Oh, okay. She's just going well. Wow. Well. Crazy how you notice that scout damage reduction cell. Fucking, it's horrible, isn't it? When you level it, it's the worst thing. It was worse when I was doing it on Cook as well, especially because like insane. On Cook, where you're already slow and pain. Yeah, you get like one hit in there. You're like, nice. I've just fucking tickled them. With my tickle stick. Yeah, more like information, depending. On They're so stealthy. I don't see anything. So. <laughs> Anna's running through the basement now. You should have a have a scent. I'm gonna go for a gas station door to see if she gets back over here at all. There we go. Probably being a fucking menace, man. Being a menace on this map. You can only really do it, though. Like, if you've got a supporting team, you know? Like, you can only do this kind of shit as Bubba. Sure do this as well. And do this, unless you've... You know, you can only do it if you've got a nice supporting team. Oh yeah, they're all in the party, aren't they? Fucking hell, fair yeah, play yeah, to them. Four men. Yeah. They're all just cheering her on. <laughs> She's last in the basin, right? So she probably gonna try another hail mary for the gas station door, I'd imagine. But she, to be, to be fair, she might pivot and go battery. It's probably the smart move. Oh, she's still here in the basement. Never mind. What are you doing, Anna? <laughs> She really wants like the health item, I think, that's out here or something important. Oh, I couldn't realize. I thought there was a crack there. 
No, so basic. Running back and forth in crawl spaces. Oh, that scout right there, baby. Oh, nice. Fucking playing the crack game, and scout doesn't play that. <laughs> she was not ready for that fucking speed. That's the mind game, man. The mind game, but scout involved. They're not ready to react. All right, so again, as you saw in the videos, insane value. Crazy value from Scout. The amount of times that survivors think they're going to mind game a crack in the wall, or they think they're going to mind game a certain loop, and they are not ready for that 15% speed increase with the chainsaw overhead, catching them off guard before they can press that button. You know, that button prompt comes up. Sometimes it's a little bit delayed when it gives you the prompt, and that timing is crucial. And even if they get through those gaps, you're still getting a chainsaw hit on them that you honestly would not get without Scout. That goes for people that jump out of the family house window that are going for a well or a generator or the generator's off and are trying to escape out of the map. Those times when I'm catching them just about, just before they go to the well, just before they get to the crack in the wall, just before they get over the cattle grid. And the one with Leland where he was at the cattle grid, if I didn't have Scout, I wouldn't have caught up to him. The generator was just turned on a little bit too late. He'd have been over the generator cattle grid and I would have been electrified. Sure, I could put rubber boots on, but again... It's very, very situational there. I probably wouldn't have been in a good enough position to catch up with him with rubber boots and no scout, which unfortunately you cannot combine. I would not have been in that position to kill him if I didn't have scout. So the amount of times I've basically caught up to someone or hit them where I just would not hit them usually, and sure, reduce damage, but it's, it's still 10% base damage increase. I try and get those blood vials early in the basement, try and get those blood bags to try and fill your blood vials as much as possible. So when you do hit a survivor for the first time, if you don't kill that survivor immediately, if you don't kill that victim straight away and you get hits you're filling your blood vial so if you are still grabbing blood bags in the basement and you have time to grab those blood bags in that basement and fill yourself up a little bit you can sometimes fill your blood vial just by attacking the first victim you see but not necessarily killing them which immediately gives you that 10 percent base damage increase you've got the 15 percent movement speed and you can just keep sprinting around the map like a madman with a lower proximity warning and catch victims off guard Thank you for watching the video. Let me know what you think of the build. Let me know if you've used it or you plan to use it. And let me know what value you get from it if you do. Either way, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below your reaction to the build. And I'll see you guys next time.